So welcome back everybody and in today's video we're going to talk about a bunch of different applications contracts that you want to use to get fully qualified for the ZK Sync airdrop and this is going to be a short series when I'm going to be covering different contracts because you want to stand out from being a Sybil because if you know a ton of different projects they don't like Sybils they don't want to drop the tokens to a Sybils they basically want to onboard as many legit users as possible and let's say you don't want to be in the same bucket as the Sybils because most of the time these Sybils they use only like three to five contracts and they're always the same so in this video i'm going to be showing you probably in the series we're going to cover probably around 100 different contracts and your chances to get the airdrop are going to be probably 100 percent so the first one as always you need to use the native bridge and we know it's expensive to use it it's going to be probably somewhere around 10 to even 20 dollars so not a lot of people want to spend 20 dollars on a gas so that's why i think this might be one of the criteria that i will uh, put you well above the curve than the normal CPL user let's say and most of the time we see native bridge as one of the additional criteria so for example whether that was the arbitrum or optimism they had this criteria when you had to use the native bridge to get one point so make sure you guys use this in a first order i think this is a really really important another bridge that you can use is tx sync and that's the second bridge and it's not the native one but it's also recommended by zk sync team to use it so just make sure you can explore with this you can go to portal or you can go to tx bridge and you can basically start bridging connect your wallet is really simple and the fees are also high with it so it can be probably around ten dollars region but if you're going to use the native bridge or even the or even the bridges that are supported by zk you're going to be positioned really well well above the herd and i would suggest you if you can do that definitely try to bridge at least three times using these bridges don't try to abuse any other bridges like orbit finance or uh, layer swap although we can use them as well so we're going to talk about them now um so one of these of course bridges is layer swap and it's really cheap to use probably the cheapest one possible and you can bridge from any network that you really want so let's say you have your funds on okx wallet or you can do it from any like binance wallet from centralized exchanges you can do also from different networks so if you want to bridge it for example from uh, let's say avalanche so you can bridge it from different chains that you want so let's say you have your funds on starknet and if you want to do it, you can send USDC, Ethereum, or DAI. And also, you need to remember, if you want to bridge from one network to another one, the minimum that you can send is 0.0011 Ethereum. So it's very on different times when the gas is different, when the Ethereum price is different. So just keep that in mind. I would definitely suggest you to send over $20 at least. If you're bridging like $10 or $5, that, there's no point. Um, you don't want to do it. You just want to bridge a bigger sum of your funds so another one that you want to use is another bridge recommended from zk sync era and it's l2 scan so in here if you go to the portal you see they have bridge and you can bridge it from ethereum to zk sync so pretty much similar bridge to the previous ones also recommended by zk sync team so if you want to level up your game definitely one of these bridges to use it if you want to withdraw your funds as well you can do that you can you can deposit your funds to zk sync era and you can just you know play around with it a little bit more uh, you can withdraw that you can come back to you know after a couple of days you can use different bridge if you want to do that as well another one that you can use is rhinofi which is also a really popular bridge and they support pretty much all of different chains so let's say you want to bridge your funds from scroll or to scroll or from chroma so i definitely recommend you guys to use it it's also really cheap and you can do a bunch of other stuff in here so if you go to your portfolio you'll see your balance once you're going to connect your wallet they have also the feature where you can invest so that's the another contracts that you can interact with they also have the swap feature so so every single time when you're going to be swapping from ethereum to usdt you're going to be using different contracts let's say you want to swap to usdc to wrap ether every single time that's a different contract so that's also count also you can go to trade section and in the trade section you know what to do it's just basically sing single trading so you can do a bunch of different swaps in here as well also you can do a tracker so rhino fire is a really complete suit for pretty much everything what you need to do next one if you click on the mint nfts you can see they have really interesting features and they basically help you to qualify for the airdrop you will see that they said they mint the nft directly to the kissing era supercharge on chain interactions bonus if you have 70 percent on higher you can also mint top explorer nfts so it says if you have 0.002 Ethereum on your ZK Sync um, era account you, wallet, you can essentially mint this NFT. So I'm going to do that. And it's also a good way to interact with different contracts because look, and you're going to be paying in total less than $2 for this. And in my opinion, that's worth it. No brainer to me to use different contracts like this, interact with the best applications. So we pay less than $2 for that in total. And if you want to go ahead and mint even more, you can click on the mint exclusive NFT. So we're going to mint a couple more from basically from Rhinofi. And hopefully maybe right now in the future they will do an airdrop so you're going to be qualified for another token as that the another nft you can mint is if you're going to use the official bridge so i didn't use the official bridge yet on this account so if you're going to do it you can mint the nft 
for the bonus quest. And if you have more than 25 transactions, you can mint the exclusive NFT as well. So I'm just gonna do it. If you can, I definitely suggest you to reach over 100 transactions. It's not that difficult to reach, and I think everybody should focus on that if you wanna get the higher chance to get the better allocation. Because we know one of these allocations might be three transactions, maybe 10, um, 25, 50, and 100. So definitely try to go for 100 and try to reach at least 25 contracts or maybe 100 contracts. So in this series, I'm going to be showing you probably around 100 different contracts that you want to interact with to get the max allocation. The another bridge that you can use is all 2 So really simple bridge and really cheap. So when you're bridging from Ethereum to Linea, you're not going to be paying that much as on the official bridge, for example. So fees are going to be somewhere around layer swap and orbit bridge a region probably around you know two to three dollars and you can bridge it also from other chains so that's really important you can also bridge another tokens if you want to so try to experiment with it another one that i mentioned previously is orbit and finance so probably one of the most popular ones that they also hinted at airdrop in the future so if you're going to be transferring your funds from ethereum to optimism to you know ziki sync Lenya, any other networks you earning your all points so the more volume you're going to make the more points you're going to accumulate essentially but this is not what this video is all about. We are here to boost our criteria and make different contracts interactions. Another one is Ziki Sync 1.0 Lite. So I mentioned that in my previous video, and I think that might be one of these crucial criteria when it comes to your allocation and eligibility. So in here, essentially, you want to use your Ethereum. So you're going to be transferring from your Ethereum mainnet to Ziki Sync 1.0 mainnet. And you can't do much there because you can only bridge it. You can all do some trades, some swaps. And mint nft so that's all we need to do if you can try to go above 10 transactions on light network and once you're done with that you can go to orbit and finance and you want to bridge your funds from um the ziki sync light so you can find it down in here and you can bridge it over to ethereum or you can bridge over to ziki sync era so it's really up to you what you want to do with that but just make sure you guys using different features another one the most popular one is is sync swap and if you guys don't know about the feature that they added recently, which is the Paymaster, you definitely want to use it. So as you can see here, they have this Ethereum and also they have USDC, where they have 10% off. They also have USDT, all uh, wrap Bitcoin die. So in here, what do you want to do? Let's say you want to use the Paymaster feature. So we're going to be swapping, um, let's say $18 to USDT. So click on the swap button. So that's the normal swap that you want to do anywhere on the platform. And once you have your USDT in your wallet, what you want to do, you want to select any amount again, like for example, 17, 75%, and we're going to swap it to USDC. So in here, really important to note that you need to change your Paymaster feature. You need to change the option to USDT if you want to pay with USDT for the gas fee. So let's say I'm going to select 75%, and now we're going to unlock it. So we'll just watch this number. So our balance is going to be deducted once we're gonna do the swap. So once you unlock it, you will not click on confirm swap and you'll need to confirm your transaction. And you can play with it. So let's say you want to use now USDC and we want to swap the entire amount that we have to be back to Ethereum. So we can do, let's say 12 because we cannot use the entire amount. You need to leave something uh, to pay for the gas fee. So we're gonna be paying with USDC now. So you're gonna unlock it and then you need to confirm it. So the next protocol you want to interact with is one inch which is probably one of these most popular DEXs across different chains like ZK Sync Era, uh, Optimism, Arbitrum. So just make sure you guys use it. You can swap from USDT or a ton of different other coins to your favorite you know, Ethereum or stable coins. The next one, we have Mute.io, which also supports the Paymaster feature. So if you click on this icon there, you can see you can swap from um, different coins like Mute, which is the native coins of Mute.io, USDT, USDC. So they have a better rate when it comes to the discount that you can use right now. So just experiment with that as well. You can also provide liquidity. And I personally think that providing liquidity to the platform is really important because no LOC bill wants to do that. So if you're going to do it, you're going to basically be well above them. So just make sure you guys, you know, deposit some for a week, maybe for two, and then you can remove it and then you can move your funds somewhere else. So you can interact with a lot of different contracts when you're going to be providing liquidity to Mute.io. And you can also go to Amplifier and you can stake your liquidity. The another one that we have is Eraland, which is the another liquidity provider protocol. So in here, you can earn rewards, but this is not what we care about, of course. Uh, you want to go to the market section, and in here, basically, what you need is to provide your assets, like Ethereum or USDT. So let's say we're going to click on the manage, and you can supply it. So let's say you want to supply 25%, like $5 of my uh, balance now, and you can supply it. So you can leave it there for a while, and then if you want, you can withdraw that shortly after. If you want to do it right now, just to, for the contract interactions, we can do it. So I'm just going to supply that. And if you want to withdraw that, you can click on manage again, click on withdraw. 
select the maximum and we can always draw it and simple as that we pay a little bit in a gas fee but we also interact it with another protocol the another protocol you can use is hold station which is essentially derivative protocol and also you can bridge it using that and so let's say we're gonna be using the bridge feature so in here this is powered by yx finance so you're gonna be using essentially two protocols in one go uh, i'm not too sure whether you're gonna qualify for yx or whether you're qualifying right now for hold station but for sure you're gonna be interacting with one of these protocols so let's say we're gonna swap 0.05 eth to usdt so let's click on that and just make sure you guys if you want to do it only on zk sync error you need to select zk sync error here and also zk sync error on the bottom it will also allow you to swap your assets across different networks like for example let's say you want to swap it from arbitrum to zk sync so now that's done you can go to trade section and if you want to open up some positions you can do that and now if you want to use another contract from whole station you will need to deposit some usdc to the platform and then you can open some positions like market limit or we can do a stop uh, so it's really up to you if you want to use it i'm just going to skip this for now but it's good overall that you're going to use another contract the another one that we have is interport which is the cross chain swap across different networks so in here as always we're going to be transferring ethereum um, or usdt across um, zk sync so we have zk sync on the top and also you want to select zk sync i'm just doing it for simplicity if you have your assets across different networks you want to do that and we're going to transfer usdc to ethereum so now i'm going to transfer the maximum that i have in usdc click on approve and then we're going to swap it now we've done it you can move to another protocol which is the layer zero and if you don't know layer zero i don't know what where you're farming but everyone knew about layer zero and it was heavy heavy abused by a lot of farmers a lot of farmers are also really angry because there's no token yet maybe we're going to see airdrop this year so one of these ways you can use a layer zero and zk sync is essentially by using stargate finance so to do that as a middleman we're going to use the maverick platform and we'll need to get some math token so on the maverick platform make sure you guys use zk sync and then you want to swap let's say um ethereum so we're going to swap 0.001 and we're going to swap it to math so that's the native token from the maverick uh, protocol dex so once you got that you can swap it to it and we're going to send math token essentially to another chain and once you have your maverick tokens you can send it from zk sync to one of these networks so we're gonna use um, base because it's another layer evm compatible so we're gonna select the maximum and we can transfer that you're not only interacting on mainnet you're not only interacting on zk sync era by also interacting with another l2s like for example base and there's no way that civil accounts uses interoperability protocols like layer zero and bridging assets from one network to another one and the last one i want to use is dmail which essentially allow you to send emails um, to any other web2 emails like for example to yahoo or you know outlook or wherever you want so we can compose one email and on the top you can see the address and we can send it for example let's say to gm.outlook.com and we're gonna send test message test message and you're gonna be paying using zk sync network to send that email so another cool way and it's really cheap to do that so we're gonna be paying only 10 cents to send one email if you want to compare it to let's say dexes for each transaction you'll need to pay around 30 to 40 or even 50 cents so in this case dxs are a couple times cheaper and by doing that you can essentially boost your transaction count to 100 and it's going to be super easy to do that and essentially you'll be able to send let's say 10 transactions for one dollar and if you found this video useful guys don't forget to follow me on twitter because this is why i update you with the alpha and you know what to do follow my group my community discord group on twitter as well so this is where i shared some updates with you guys and in the future maybe i'll open it so you'll be first to know so leave it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one